Uh, the way to win in the marketplace is that you get great talent. Uh, but how do you get great talent? Well, you acquire them and you retain them. You keep them excited in the company, right? How do you do that, right? Now, obviously, there are usually a few tenants. Why do people stay in companies? Great, inspiring leaders, competitive rewards, right? Uh, and obviously, interesting work or careers that keep you moving and learning. I think one thing we are paying more closer and closer attention is the aptitude of the people. Because there's no denying, in fact, the employee needs to keep up in their skills. I mean, it's just a trend we can't control. And challenging part is it's coming to the future. We don't really know. We have some ideas, but we don't really know what kind of exact skills are needed and sourced internally. So instead of focusing too much on what exactly needed, we're trying to look at the people who have the better aptitude of learning new skills. Well, and one other thing that we're working in, in Shell as we prepare the, the, the skills for the future is how do you have differentiated career path, for example? How do you create the value proposition for somebody that wants to be a very deep scientist guru in say the, uh, the geoscience area of petroleum engineering versus somebody who's in the marketing, retail, uh, commercial type business where the exposure, the broader sort of uh, profile that they have in Korea uh, is perhaps a, a better model. So fit for purpose, and, and this is something what we call a career differentiation type of, of model. We are really focused on bringing an inclusive work environment as a competitive advantage to help our employees feel that they can be their true selves at work. We recognize that people come into our organization at different stages of their lives, with different life experiences, with different backgrounds. And we want to ensure that regardless of that, that we set up the conditions to have their contributions and their talents fully realized.